Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl True and I am back with another one. All right, y'all. So I decided to pull my shuffle out um, before recording the video. Something new that I did this time. Y'all know I usually shuffle on the camera. But I wanted to kind of tap into the energies off the camera to really go deep and dive into this message, okay? Um, I want you guys to know if you are new to the channel, I read for masculine and feminine energies, okay? I do read past, present, and future energies, all right? And I want you guys to take what resonates and leave out what does not, okay? If you have not already, which I don't know why you haven't, if you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe, all right? Hit that bell so you are notified when I upload new videos, okay? If you returning in you gang gang, you already know how we do it over here. Sit back, sit back, sit back, and enjoy this freaking story okay because it gets real all right so the first energy that came out was the um, musician right but it came out in reverse and i was like oh that's not good but right after the musician card came out in reverse the justice card came after so i'm like the musician in reverse justice and then the fulfillment the nine of cups came out after so i'm like it ain't too bad, right? Because it was like giving the musician in reverse, but then we go into fulfillment. So just wait a minute, okay? Then we get the strength card, all right, Leo energy. We got the moon card, all right, Pisces energy. The justice card, which is also Libra energy, heavy Libra energy, okay? And then we have the two of swords, okay? So these could be the zodiac signs that is involved, does not have to be, okay? But these are the zodiac signs showing here. Pisces, Libra. Heavy Pisces, heavy Libra, and Leo energy, all right, you guys? Heavy Pisces, heavy Libra, and Leo energy, all right? Overall, you guys could be seeing 111, okay? You could be seeing, literally, these are nothing but ones that came out, literally. 111, three fucking ones, okay? So if you are seeing 111 heavy, this message is for you, okay? Heavy, heavy, heavy. If you have been seeing 888, all right, or 818, okay? If that is one of your angel numbers, as I'm seeing this here, all right? Literally seeing 818, all right? This is how it was exactly, okay? So this could be your message as well, all right? We about to jump into it. We about to jump in fucking to it, okay? This is giving heavy, 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 um, it's like we're going back into that twin flame energy. And I don't know why this twin flame energy is like, it's like coming back up heavy, but something is going down in, in the spiritual realm. Okay. A lot of you guys' counterparts. Okay. Um, you guys could have been stripped away from your, the counterpart that you was meant to be with due to the energies of this lower, of this world. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And people not healing and releasing what wasn't for them in the first place, if that makes sense, okay? So I want you guys to listen to the story that I'm about to tell, all right? And if you do not have to be those zodiac signs either, okay? And it could be your sun, moon, and or rising, all right? With the magician card in the reverse, okay? Somebody was definitely doing magic on somebody, okay? Somebody was doing magic on you, all right? Because they felt as if you were doing magic on them, okay? With the ain't nobody sending you black magic, that's karma, all right so somebody literally because they were in a lower frequency they allowed these demons to play on them and they had they thinking oh somebody is out getting them thinking that this somebody is you and you weren't even worried about this fucking person okay spirit wants me to let you know you are going to receive your justice okay for this um magic that this person is going to that this person has done okay and i know you're sitting back and you're like well what, what was this magic about why did this person do this magic the energy that I'm picking up on, okay, for some of you guys, this magic was done for you because they did not, they was just jealous of your fulfillment, okay? You were too, I need you to understand that when you're not healed and you're working with all these energies, you start to pick up tarot cards and you start to, these demons are really fuck with your mind if you don't have that right protection needed to be playing with these energies. You get what I'm trying to say? So somebody on here, really thought you a chosen one was out here doing lower vibrational shit you you've been on your pedestal ain't never done no black magic none of that so this person went caught themselves going to go razzle dazzle put some shit together because they listening to all these other people that ain't real oracles you get what i'm trying to say having them dibble and dabble them into some fucking black magic and they were just really jealous of you jealous of your fucking fulfillment okay jealous of 
yes, jealous of your fulfillment, all right? For some of you guys, they literally did magic to prevent someone from coming towards you, okay? With the strength card being here, okay? Leo energy, all right? This person could be a Leo. This person could be a Libra or a Pisces. Does not have to be, though, all right? You then have the moon card here. The moon card just talks about secrets illusion, but with the moon card coming out and the magician in the reverse, all right, there... It lets me know that every moon cycle, okay, you may have been feeling a little iffy, like right before the moon cycles or a little right after. They've been trying to play, okay, with different moon cycles to fuck with you energetically, all right? Literally to fuck with you energetically. I'm getting the energy. They have even put confusion spells on you to have you so fucking confused, okay? We're going to go a little bit deeper and we're going to clarify it just a little bit more, all right? But for some of you guys, they literally did this energy, sending this negative energy towards you, literally just because of your happiness, just because you, you look fulfilled, just because you're enjoying fucking life. And I need you to understand, these demons of the world, they cringe when they see other people in happiness. They cringe when they see other people in their power, okay? I need you to understand, all right? They're not doing this healing, okay? It gets deep. So, anywho, spirit is saying ain't nobody sending you black magic, all right? Ain't nobody sending you black magic. You then have, I talk about you, he defends you, okay? So, for some of you guys on here, all right, you guys know y'all was in the third-party situation, okay? In this third-party situation, I'm getting that the third party of you and your soulmate, basically, they knew, like, y'all had a connection do you get what i'm trying to say they knew that this person kind of might have wanted to go that route but this demon was so you know mind you know these demons they know how to get what they want when they want what they want you get what i'm trying to say hence leeches hence and so forth right narcissists manipulators you get what i'm saying they're powerful as fuck so what this demon did was get into this person's head okay get into this person's head not only right through their speech but through magic okay that's what i'm saying a, a freaking spiritual narcissist whoo man you you gotta be real fucking careful real fucking careful okay so this person literally was doing confusion spells not only on you but their own spouse that they was with so their spouse don't ever get the strength and find out so things can stay hidden okay and they don't come towards you. But I'm getting, because the, the cards read, she or he's coming real soon, okay? So some illusions, this magic that this person has been doing is wearing off. Y'all gotta understand, you gotta keep doing it. You gotta keep doing it. And eventually what's done in the dark, baby, this, this is soon gonna come to some sunlight. This moon card soon gonna come to the sun card. We'll be surprised if that sun card don't come out in this reading, okay? Because that's the energy that I'm feeling that it was a lot, a lot of manipulation, a lot of magic to keep you and your spouse from getting connecting together. Just a lot of bullshit, okay? Then we got the card that came out. I talk about you and he defends you, okay? So this third party has even brought like so this third you gotta remember what I said they they mind fucking right so they trying to mind fuck this person like nah this person so some of you guys could even been in like a third party situation I just like a poly situation is what I literally just picked up on what the fuck so this person is literally like trying to talk about you right to get into this person they know how powerful right they know they know how to move people to get into this person's head thinking that eventually it had this person on the route that they on with how they feel do you get what i'm trying to say but this person is really defending you which then turns around because you, the, your person they so they heart is so pure they're not knowing the demon that they really with right now do you get what i'm trying to say so every time this this your person goes and defends you this motherfucker goes back and like fuck all right it's wearing off you get what i'm trying to say and they dibbling dabbling back in the magic to keep this person connected to them okay so a lot of you guys is soulmates all right chosen ones y'all soulmates have to heal y'all soulmates are in or twin flames are in relationships with karmics because they have not fully healed to see through the karmics illusions and bullshit 
I hope y'all understanding what I'm saying, okay? But somebody is coming, okay? Because then we got, can you please just listen? And that's an ear. Yes, y'all, that's an ear. Don't be talking about my ear. So somebody is about to come in and they're about to be like, can you please just listen? Can you please, like, I just, I just, I just listen. So I'm getting the energy that this, you guys could have dated. This guy, this person could have, or this woman, you know, could have took the other side. And now they're about to come back because they start putting every fucking thing together throughout y'all journey of y'all relationship. And they like, wait, I think I fucked up. I thought this person was toxic, but they was really healing because of the illusions of the world, because I was misconstrued. I thought this person was for me and they fucking wasn't, all right? But with the justice card being here, here nor there, wow, Spirit said yes, real soon coming together, okay? Spirit said, yeah, I was, because I was about to go somewhere else. The energy was, uh, energy was about to take me somewhere else. And spirit, spiritual warfare, y'all see it firsthand right here. I got a battle of these fucking demons. So it's coming together real fucking soon like sooner than what you think like your twin flame is light bulb is about the or your soulmate light bulb is like nah this a karmic like nah i was supposed to leave this person i was about to say years ago but so they could have been with this person for years y'all get what i'm saying and this person could have broke them and that person could have had like a separation and then they met you right and when they met you while they were dating you they still had that person that they was with for a long time. So in their head with society, you know, they, they didn't know how to release. This is why I tell you guys, we have to practice detachment. So we're not holding ourselves up from our true, genuine love, okay? When you guys come together, all right, you guys, I'm getting healed together. I'm also getting, you guys are going to come together and help heal the world, like, Y'all store, oh, I'm, I just got chills through my body. What the fuck? Ah, so beautiful. I just got excited. What the fuck? What the fuck? My spirit just got happy as fuck. I'm trying to tame it, okay, y'all? I don't know what the fuck is going on internally, all right? But y'all are going to heal the world together. Like, y'all going to heal, y'all going to heal, help heal each other. And then y'all going to heal the world together. So I'm talking like some type of, like, um, Listen, y'all gonna heal the world together, okay? Whatever creativity y'all come together with, y'all gonna come together with, okay? I, don't, I was about to speak too much. Listen, then you got family doesn't want to see you win, but you will. So this lets me know that this person, remember that I told you guys, they was in this other relationship for a while before they have met you, okay? So this person family right they could have told one of their family members it could have been an auntie right um it could have been like i'm getting a more feminine energy they talk to like a more feminine energy but you got to remember a lot of people are not healing so the people that they were going to right they looking like mm -mm, they know that you was already in a relationship but they are not understanding like no that person didn't know they, they just came off judgmental right they didn't understand the real perspective of how things played out do you get what i'm trying to say so i'm getting that there is a family member that does not want to see this connection come together but i'm getting that your person does not give a fuck okay like your person is coming towards you when and for some of you i just heard they're leaving a family a whole family behind to come towards you, okay? So they could have built a whole fucking family, but they're like, nah, that's my woman, nah. That's who I'm meant to be with. Like, I know I fucked up, but I'm not about to stay in this fuck up. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And it hints, let me go off track just a, a little minute. Um, I'm meeting people, talking to dudes, and I literally told a dude, you know, I'm celibate. And the dude literally clapped back and was like, but you're not a virgin. So what do you mean you celibate? And I'm like, I know, I didn't say I was a virgin. He was like, so how are you going to be celibate? You, he's like, that's only for virgins to hold back sex. If you have sex, you shouldn't be. Is that really people mindset out here? Like, so if you have sex, you just got to keep having sex. You ain't supposed to never stop. Like, you ain't never supposed to heal and be like, damn, I fucked up. I didn't have the right upbringing and knowing that I wasn't even supposed to be opening my fucking legs until I'm married and my soul is fucking fulfilled. No, I ain't had sex in two years and I'm not. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, and don't break it for nobody. Just as soon as you think that you are. Listen, 
don't break it for nobody okay but here nor there this person is realizing that you know they had this mindset at first that same mindset all right i'm i'm having sex i might as well keep going no that's just the demon playing on you release mindset of oh i'm not about to leave this hand because i don't want to have my kids in a broken home no your sanity your peace is everything and sometimes it's, it, you need to break that home up to build a better home, okay? I need y'all to listen to what I'm saying, all right? Don't let these demons play on y'all, okay? For somebody on here, they, they're realizing, they're waking up, all right? They're realizing and they're waking up, okay? You got your sibling, okay? So their sibling could be trying to help them get out of this situation. They could have like a brother or sister that been telling them about their spouse that they're currently with. Like, my dog, I been told you that person wasn't right. I been trying to tell you, but you was just so... I was going to say digmatized or pussymatized, but they was really under an illusion. They was really under spells for real. Um, it was a lot of confusion with the two of swords. A lot of confusions um, had them just misconstrued. I just heard dreams, but they were getting, I'm getting for, they was even like, they've been putting together their dreams. Okay. So, you know, I tell you guys all the time, if you are a chosen one. Spirit is going to come to you in your dreams. Okay. Spirit has told me. Just show me all type of shit, okay? It, now, my silly self didn't win and shared it, right? When I when I was naive and didn't know no better, right? Um, but yes, okay, so they have been getting dreams. I'm getting that they have been getting dreams. But yeah, that person is doing magic for you guys, for on you guys, okay? Because they don't want this person to come towards you, all right? For others of you, they're doing the magic because they just don't want you to be fulfilled, okay? They don't want you to continue to have this strength to go after your goals, go after what you are desiring, okay? You got concentration, red roses, blue roses, okay? So that's giving me right now um, red pill, blue pill, concentration. So it's like a decision needs to be made, and this is not. A small decision okay with the concentration like um this decision that needs to be made is like a fucking huge decision a huge decision this wow so this karmic you could have kids okay and this karmic could have been telling your soulmate something about how you raise your child to get this karmic to like not you know, cause they, cause they know this karmic, right? They've been with this karmic for years, so they know what to, what to say, what to do to turn this karmic off from you, or whatever. You get what I'm trying to say? And it's for whatever reason, this karmic knows some shit about you, okay? So whether y'all was in like a poly situation, a third party situation, you know, or I, I'm not, however, whatever, this person knows about you, okay? They could just be sitting back watching your profile, speculating, right, and trying to observe and coming up with observations off of whatever they didn't speculate and, and put together in their own goddamn head. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Wow. We got, he's very powerful. Okay. So yes, your soulmate, listen, your fucking soulmate is just as fucking powerful as you. Okay, sis or bro. All right. And then you got too many fakes are in your business. Okay. Caught watching you. Okay. Fertility. It's time. The present gives gifts this celebration okay overall overall energy so this person i want to let you know your person you got sweet loving person okay so when this person tries to talk about you and he this your person he or she defends you your person is is they look at you as who you are because they your person is especially if it's your twin flame they are a split of you right so they they kind of feel your frequency they feel your true energy because they are the split of you you guys kind of have a, a connected soul so when this person is trying to talk down like oh this person is evil this person is a whore or whatever they're talking down on your name this person's like nah this person's a sweet loving person they actually more sweeter than you they actually got more heart than you they actually i feel like they can now and it's having them start to look more and more at their own person people don't understand playing with this magic you do not hold more power than god baby and it's some things okay not everything but it's some connections it's some people that is divinely guided and aligned baby that your little whatever you power you think you hold if you are watching for my cross watches okay 
is not more powerful than what God got, baby. It's not. And it ain't gonna ever be, okay? So I need you to chill, chill. Take a chill pill, okay? Take a chill freaking pill. And I need you guys to understand that black magic or ma magic, right? Negative energy, the evil eye, right? It's not always going together, whipping up, whipping up, whipping up. The person could just be watching you, sending you that evil. And everything is energy, y'all everything is energy okay this is why i said we gotta watch our frequency and our energy that we are projecting specifically to people that that are sensitive to energy okay all right um but he's very powerful okay he feels like you're a sweet loving person okay he wants when this person comes into you you guys we got fertility yes yes it's time they gonna come in right off the back i'm getting marriage i'm getting um what is it i'm getting um pregnancy like uh, confer fucking mation burp uh, confirmation burp so i felt that burp literally came from like my it felt weird, like that that burp was like the, i felt it like rumbling up like that shit was crazy but thank you spirit somebody spiritual baby is ready to be born okay we got the phoenix rising baby you got the fuck and at the bottom of the deck, you got the Cupid's arrow. God said, this is a line. Yeah, this person is about to break up with the, with the person that they've been with for a long time. Yes, it's about to be separation. They about to cut off all attachments. We really, we literally got the axe, right? After the axe, you got keys on the freaking ring. And then separation. So what this is telling me is, your person that's coming towards you, oh my God, they about to cut off all attachments. If they was a hoe in the past, they not hoeing no more. Like the Phoenix rising. I don't even know if there's a masculine card for the Phoenix rising, right? So that could be masculine and feminine energy, okay? So what I'm picking up on, I was getting like, you know, you you doing your work, right? But you've been doing your work. For the Phoenix rising, I'm getting this is him. Like you're masculine or she, you're feminine, whoever you are, right? So if you are a feminine, right? Basically, you're a Phoenix rising, it can be read as a masculine energy right now, basically is what I'm picking up on, okay? So you can as well be that masculine that's been doing this work, okay? Um, and your, look, your wife is coming. Your spouse is coming, okay? Your real all in all, your end all be all is, is coming, okay? Because God sees you doing that work. That's all you got to do is heal. People want love. People want love. People trying to, oh, this man, do this. If I do this, if I do that, if I do this. No, if you just heal. <laughs> Now, I am going to tell you guys, though, once you do heal, it do get clouded at the top, okay? It, it gets real dry up here. Like, it gets real dry. Every time I think I, I found the spouse, they don't last longer than three months, okay? Longer than three months, they get the shut. And I'm like, damn, you was faking this heal shit. Whew, you, had, you was faking it real good. You was faking this healing shit real good. And then the demons come out, and they just like, you get what I'm saying? So... It gets, it gets real. A lot of people in healing is a thing that you have to constantly, constantly work on. Constantly work on. Because just you can double back and be the old you real quick. Real quick, okay? Real quick. Um, but somebody is coming towards you. You got love coming, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm Somebody, they trying to get me out of these energies. You got love coming, okay? Somebody caught themselves doing some magic, right? They was trying to stop some fulfillment, okay? Stop your happy... Oh, wow. I just heard love spells. So if you've been feeling like... And I know this is, like, resonating for me, which is fucking crazy, dog. But if you've been feeling like, you know, like, you just can't get no spouse. Like, I literally been to ask the spirit, like, who, who do y'all got me waiting for? Because every single time... I meet somebody, they either got something else going on, they either lying, like I'm not as intuitive as I am, they either manipulative, a gaslighter, like, why y'all keep bringing me these demons? Like, what's going on? Like, then I get somebody decent, and they still got something going on on the side, like, bruh, you couldn't even be 100. Like, all you got to do is be 100 with me, and we, you get what I'm saying? So I felt like somebody was holding like, spirit was holding me for somebody. Like, yeah, we just gonna keep sending these karmics so she can see how much she healed past the bullshit. But I just literally got a download that's that magic with all this red. Red is like love energy. Somebody was literally... This motherfucker was smart. So this, this person's karmic was literally putting love, like, spells on you. So the spell on you was getting so, you know, people won't uh, be attracted to you, which was having their, 
Wow. They was doing confusion spells, attraction spells, fucking beauty spells. These motherfuckers was in the kitchen trying to whip it up. Whip it up. They thought they was Harry fucking Potter. What the fuck? <laughs> Here nor there. Your person got caught watching you. Your person got caught watching you. Oh, my God. Your person got caught watching you. When they come in, they about to come in. This is present energy, too. When they come in, they about to come in, like, showering you with fucking gifts, okay? So, get ready, because you about to be spoiled. I'm getting chills, all right, through y'all reading. I don't get chills like that through um, generals. Oh, and at the bottom of the deck, let me show y'all what, what when I stopped shuffling. Heavy soulmate twin flame vibes, okay? With the lover's card. Gemini energy here, okay? Spirit wants me to let you know things is moving forward in love with the chariot here, okay? Fast movement. Somebody's coming in fast with the knight of wands. Yes, you protect it, okay? Queen of wands energy, all right? Yeah, this is something from your past. For some of you guys, y'all baby daddy or baby mom could have been your twin flame or your baby daddy, baby mom is stuck in their head about coming towards you guys, okay? Yes, this or remember I said this person gonna get you pregnant, so this person fierce that this person gonna be their baby daddy, baby mama. Cause then I seen the queen of pentacles. Y'all know my queen of pentacles is my pregnancy card as well. Yeah, somebody is about to be. And then I got the nine of swords. So some I just picked up on something. Somebody that's pregnant may feel backstabbed. Okay. So this was like something on the side. I think so somebody that's pregnant okay so somebody is gonna feel backstabbed but what they're not gonna understand is it's just their judgment for something that they they've done yeah no okay yes yeah, somebody oh wow this story gets deep for me okay Somebody literally could they this remember I told you that they was with a person for a while. So I'm getting the energy that this person, every time they knew that they person was kind of like shifting away from them, they will then get pregnant by this person subconsciously. Remember, we gotta tap in our subconscious because we'll do things subconsciously and not even know it. You get what I'm saying? So this person will go and get pregnant by this person so they can bring back in that loving energy, y'all know, in the baby, especially if, if the if the spouse love kids, right? And love a family dynamic. So this person is going to be, is like guilt tripping or is going to try to guilt trip them um, because I'm thinking that they're they either about to get pregnant or they're pregnant. They're about to, they're not giving a fuck about, I'm about to show y'all, they're not going to give a fuck. You literally got the lover's card, okay? Right? So that spirit letting me know that things is moving forward in love, okay? And it's moving fucking faster than what you think with the Knight of fucking cups, right? Understand that you are protected, okay? So I'm getting, I just got a download that this person, uh, karma could be threatening, like, or they're going to be threatening them. Like, oh yeah, y'all not going to have a successful relationship because they, they're fucking mentally fucking insane they like oh, i'm gonna fuck it up i'm gonna ruin this i'm gonna ruin that right they they could be putting their kids holding their kids or something with their children over their face but spirit wants me to let you know with the queen of wands baby you protected that motherfucker can't and won't it ain't shit gonna touch you okay not not nothing gonna touch you baby all right so they but it's leaving this person in their head right because this person is like in their head because they like fuck I did get this person pregnant, right? But this person is not understanding. Like, no, this person only got pregnant by you. So you could be in your head like this. Do you, are y'all getting what I'm saying? I hope y'all following along. But with the nine of swords coming here, this person is about to be left, okay? Specifically and especially with the judgment card being here. They are about to be judged for that shit. They are about to be judged for playing with somebody, right? And this is your person leaving them, them two wands. That's her and the fucking kid. They, the motherfucker leaving that kid around and grabbing his new and coming forward. You see him? To a happy fulfillment 
relationship that's going to be an abundant of love okay where he feels it's going to be a mature relationship a more grounded relationship this person is watching you and this person is about to make a choice okay this person is tired this person is tired of this ongoing battles we're trying to find whoever with whatever they were trying to find within this person and they're about to come towards you with a big offer okay a big offer spirit is saying in this time be patient they trying to plan a way to walk away, okay? They trying to plan a way to walk away and come together with you, okay? And end out and cut out these third-party energies. But something is coming. And it's about to be long-term, baby. And they sitting back watching you. And they not satisfied where they at. They looking at where they at like, yeah, this ain't it. This ain't it. It's about to be a massive change, okay, y'all? What's about? Spirit said, no, nah, keep going. It's about to be a massive big change, right? The fucking Wheel of Fortune right behind it. I was about to stop. Spirit said, nah, keep going. Wheel of Fortune talks is a 10, okay? So, yeah, that, that shit is about to end. The chariot, y'all lover, is coming towards y'all. But be patient. Don't give it too much energy. But it's coming faster than what y'all think, okay? Illusions is being removed, all right? People is out here healings, okay? And real connections is coming together, Okay, and I'm here for it. Y'all seen it. Cupid's arrow, the phoenix rising, because we out here doing this healing. And when you out here heal, link for real, that's when you align yourself with your real love. That's when you align yourself with your real fucking spouse, okay? Remember, in this time, they cutting off all of them excesses. You see the keys on the ring? That's all them string alongs, all that bullshit they had tied and attached to them they they cutting it out because baby they trying to they trying to come with that arrow to you baby all right that was y'all message that was y'all message oh and somebody jealous of your gifts okay so you could be um you could be a card reader yourself all right if not you can just be hella fucking in tune right you can be a dreamer i need y'all to know it's tons of dream of gifts you can be an empath where you just feel, right? Um, you can just see things. You can just know things. Shit. You can know, like, it's a lot of different gifts. You can have the gift of seeing death before it happens to try to help people prevent it. Um, you can see the gift, uh, just a lot. And I think I know what spirit wants me to do. I think with this reading right now, and I and I was putting myself here, and the way that I'm realizing that, I'm, the way that I understand things here on, like, a, I've, I've been sleep on myself. I've been really sleeping on my motherfucking self. But not no more, y'all. Make sure, if you haven't already, drop me, drop me, drop me a comment of love. So I just want to know, just want to see who my real ones is, all right? Drop me a comment of love. If you haven't already, hit that like and share this video to at least five, five people, okay? Understand, um, I pay attention. I pay attention to the likes, right? When you guys comment and you guys like the videos, as my supporters do, I already know y'all do, it helps to push the videos out, okay? It helps to let them know, hey, our tribe over here, gang, gang, we the truth over here. We speaking nothing but truth, right? But if you guys aren't liking, if you guys are just watching the videos and we're, we're clicking off once I get to this part, right? Um, it, it's not going to push the videos out, right? And then I don't want you guys to not be connected to a real one, okay? So I know y'all like, damn, the, the energies will be like, okay, when you hear somebody begging for something, it'll pull you back, right? I ain't begging for shit, okay? So <laughs> y'all like this video so it can get pulled out. Um, if not, don't be a hater all your life be a hater all your life okay um but all my real ones all my supporters make sure you guys gang gang y'all like this video okay y'all know how i had all these leeches just coming to get readings they not sharing they not commenting they, i'm tired of it and i don't want nobody viewing me that ain't liking me okay <laughs> i hope that makes sense to you guys and that's just me i speak the real 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 holy field all the time baby y'all already know what it is as long as you move out of love, I'm talking that genuine, heart-shaking, groundbreaking, world-stopping love. You gonna always win. Pit. What the fuck? I said peace, but I put up threes. What the fuck?
333 could be significant, okay? Definitely was a third party situation that's about to be released, okay? That was awkward as fuck. Peace. <laughs>